Hi everyone, this is a shout out to Destiny and Malia who has requested a Bible story. So let's jump right in and if you have a favorite story you can let me know or you can just request one and I'll do a shout out to you too. This is from the Youth Bible. I'm reading from 2 Kings chapter 6 and it's about Elisha. Now Elisha was a prophet which is kind of like a teacher. Uh, he had a school that he was teaching other young men how to follow God and to listen closely. And an amazing thing happens. Have you ever seen an ax? An ax has a sharp end on one side where it can cut wood. And then on the other end is a handle. Now, let's see if you can hear what happens with the ax head and what amazing thing our God does. Let's begin. The group of prophets said to Elisha, the place where we meet with you has been too small. Let's go to the Jordan River. There everyone can get a log and we can build a place to live. Elisha said, go. One of them said, please go with us. Elisha answered, I will go. So he went with them. When they arrived at the Jordan River, they cut down some trees. As one man was cutting down a tree, the head of his ax fell off into the water. He said, Oh, my master, I borrowed that ax. Elisha said, Where did it fall? The man showed him the place at the river. Then Elisha cut down a stick and threw it in the water. It made the iron head float. That's what it says. Then what happened? Elisha said, pick up the ax head. The man reached out and took it. Now what do you think of that? Ax heads are very heavy. They would sink. But God let Elisha do a miracle. What kinds of things have you heard about miracles? Many kinds of, of miracles were done by Jesus in the New Testament. In future days, we can look at other miracles where God does amazing things. I hope you have a good rest of the day. And if you are preparing for sleeping, I hope you sleep really good. Let me pray for you. Father, thank you for those who are listening. I pray that you will bless them, and that you give them great joy, that in the places they need help, they can remember that you are their great helper. Thank you for helping us in the days before, because it builds our faith for ways you'll help us in the future. We thank you, Jesus, for being so trustworthy. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you next time.